Messenger Cejudo. The Olympic gold medalist, UFC flyweight champion, and again, you talk about work ethic. That conversation begins with the messenger. It absolutely does. As a young boy, Henry understood that he wanted gold bigger than any high school kid should chase. So he moved to the Olympic Training Center, and he trained with me as I was getting ready for the Olympic team prior as a little kid because he knew winning an NCAA title wasn't enough for him. Ultimately, he became Olympic champion, the youngest in U.S. history, and now he's the UFC champion. What a career by Henry Cejudo. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody, if you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahuda. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Right, green people lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. Ready? Ready? Let's go, guys. Right, so the fight is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee's shot is blocked. Kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Oh, that right hand is on point. Effective punch there by 
by Sabuda. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Missed with that right hand. Big kick lands. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, man, how many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's going to be sleeping. Right up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? And he landed the right hand there. A big liver kick lands under the elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, missed on that one. Twenty seconds left. Just misses with the straight right. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Switching stances here. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Straight punch lands. Ball fighters exchange in the pocket here. And this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down. And nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks. No wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. the left hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. How good is that right hand? Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, massive kick to the head. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Cejudo's kick to the body is blocked. 
big ball rush land. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice kick there by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Two rounds in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of confidence. Oh. trying to shut the liver down. <laughs> Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Big body kick lands. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, if you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up in that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Left hook, right hand. Oh! Come on, let him go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Cejudo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. How about that shin? Punch coming, it's blocked. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. To take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. That's a big strike right there. Inside leg kick is there by Lee. Wow. Oh, big left hand there. Yeah, left hook found its target. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. So a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponents. Did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Ready? in the previous round, we'll Ready? see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets in. He should stay the course. He's so educated. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and... Ooh. Right, fantastic strike. Control at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fights. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice punch there. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Cejudo's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Final minute to go here in round four. Oh, nice. Nice. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, big punch land. Oh. Big combination. He's got him right here. Oh, big left. Change the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. Hurt really badly we're, 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 by we're, we're, that we're, one big leg kick. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Just out of range with that left hook. Head kick there blocked by Cejudo. here. Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Oh! Oh, 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 he might be out. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Oh, that's got 
got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice strike. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubliano is going to stop in three minutes, 21 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win.